What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand vestibular anatomy so that you can better treat your patients. And also pass the NPTE. Your vestibular system is split up into two parts, peripheral and central. Your peripheral vestibular system is located in your inner ear. Here, there are three semicircular canals, each rotated 90 degrees away from the others. At the end of each canal is a bulge called the ampulla, which holds the crista, which is the sensory organ here. The crista includes a gelatinous mass called the cupula, which moves when you do, as well as hair cells, which sense the movements of the cupula and send signals to your brain about rotational movements. There's an anterior, posterior, and horizontal semicircular canal on each side, and the right and left sides work in pairs to sense movement and direction. So one side will increase the firing rate while the other side will decrease firing rate to tell your brain which way you're moving. The horizontal semicircular canals are both paired together while the left anterior and right posterior canals are paired and vice versa. The semicircular canals attach to two membranous sacs also known as otolithic organs, called the utricle and the saccule. Inside of these is the macula, which is the sensory organ. This is comprised of otoconia, or small crystals that move when you do, as well as hair cells that sense the movements and send signals to your brain about linear motions. These signals are sent via cranial nerve 8, aka the vestibulocochlear nerve, to the central vestibular system. This includes four vestibular nuclei at the brainstem, which then send the signals out to six different pathways. The thalamus, to produce conscious awareness of the body's position. The reticular formation, to produce a nausea response if appropriate. The ocular cranial nerves, three, four, and six, to produce eye motions in response to that stimuli. Cranial nerve 11, to produce a head response the vestibulospinal tract to produce a postural response, and the cerebellum, specifically the vestibulocerebellum, aka the flocular nodule, which plans out motor responses and reflexes via spinal cord tracts. Damage to the vestibular system will look different depending on whether it occurs in the peripheral system or the central system. Now it's time for NPTE Jeopardy! Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, Three, two, one. The otoliths, or crystals, are in the macula, which is within the otolithic organs called the utricle and the saccule. A common vestibular disorder called BPPV involves the otoconia falling into the semicircular canals. Hopefully that covers all of our bases, but you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or drop me a comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Good luck studying. Go change the world.